Are you getting a little bit bogged down by Facebook because you got so many things coming in your news feed and maybe not all sorts of things that you're interested in? Well, we need to learn to harness the power of the lists feature on Facebook. This happens over on your personal profile page and on your home page. This is my fan page, so this is not where we use lists. So first thing that I'm going to have you do is go over to your personal profile. And all you're going to do is click on your friends list here. Okay. So we know this fabulous and fearless woman here. So I'm going to hover on her name. And what you'll see here is where it says friends and subscribed. So a couple of different things that you can do here. Subscribed is something we can talk about in another time. But friends is where the list that they're in come up. You can show all lists. This little lightning bolt that's right next to here are the lists that Facebook has created for you. The rest of them are ones that I've created. You want to make a new list? All you do is click right here and you can make a new list. Now, whenever you become friends with somebody, you can choose to put them into lists, but you can also do this at any given time. Now, you might say that's great, but what do those lists really get me? So if you go over to your home page, when you're looking at the news feed, you're probably seeing the um, updates from every single page and person that you interact with. But if you use um, the list feature, you can actually click on any of those lists that you made and only see the updates from that list. These are my favorites, and you'll also notice here I have groups and pages and apps and more. If you click on more, your lists will come up and then click on more there. So right there is where all of your lists, and you can create a new list, exist. Well, all you have to do is click on this little pencil icon right here, and if I hovered over, I can add it to my favorites. If I was to do that, then it would just show up right here. Then if I hover over it, I can remove it or rearrange. And so maybe I want to put that up here so I see it more frequently. Okay, so that's super easy. And then you can also just remove that at any given time and always press done when you're done. So that's a really cool way to organize by your list. But here's an, another great way to use your lists. Say you have a post, for instance, um, I'm in Isogenics and we have something, an event coming up and I want to see if there's anybody going or see if there's a roommate. I can do a status update, type it in, whatever it might be, and then right here, my default setting is actually public. You can choose that in privacy settings. I have other tutorial videos about that. But if you go to public and then right here to custom, you can choose a single list or multiple lists. The other thing that you can do is go to public and then choose a list. So you can see all lists and just choose the single list that it would go on. Okay, so for me, say it would be Isogenics. And then that post would only be seen in the news feed of those who are on that list. So it's a great way to start to segment. Think about all the ways that you can use this for your own business, for your friends, just to make it a little bit more manageable. Hope that this was helpful. If you have any specific questions based on this tutorial, please make sure to ask below the video or over on my page. Have a great day.